So it's January, everyone's feeling a little bit blue and most people like to book a holiday to say somewhere like Ibiza. Today I've actually booked in with a Seat Ibiza Excellence and that's a really important word, excellence, because this car is actually really, really good for what is a small hatchback. Roll on, free good, free bad. <laughs> So I'm pleased to tell you that the 2018 Seat Ibiza has been focused on heavily on its exterior. Now you're going to get some more distinct lines which run down the side of the car and down the front bonnet. And what that does is makes the car look a lot more bulkier. On top of that, in this excellence model, we've got a rear spoiler and we've got some angled uh, wing mirrors. And what that does is just gives that car that bigger presence. One particular feature that I absolutely love is the daytime running lights. They are obviously LEDs and they have a full surround around the light and it really makes the car look more premium. So that's an absolute win for us. So as with the exterior of this car, the interior has been upgraded as well. Last year I drove the Seat Arona and to be honest, I was really disappointed with it. In this car however though, they've really made use of some of its materials. So for example, we've got plastics offset against gloss plastics, but more importantly, now we've got ambient lighting in the doors. We've also got a leather finish to the dashboard, albeit it's fake leather, and that's offset with a white stitching, and that features on the steering wheel as well. Also in the car, we've got part Alcantara, part leather seats, and not only do they look great, but they feel great as well. Now, for the free good, we kind of struggled, and that isn't because we couldn't find free good points, that's because there's too many good points about this car. One thing that stood out for me was the practicality sense. In the back, you could easily get two adults in there. There's plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. The middle seat, an adult could get in there, but only for a short journey. And then there's the boot space. That's 355 litres, and that is class leading. Put it this way, I have a Husky, and I could quite easily get my dog in that boot, and it'd be absolutely fine on a longer journey. So you could say it's a practical family car for what essentially is a small hatchback. So the first thing with this car is just there's a few little niggles all because Sia have not done those finishing touches. For example, the interior quality in this car. So there's some scratch here house plastics in quite a few places, but to be honest, they're there to keep the cost down so you can't really complain. There's no sixth gear in the manual, so many times I've tried to hit sixth gear is unbelievable. Um, but again, you can probably get used to it. And the final point is there's a lovely space down here where you can put your phone. However, there's no wireless charging. And most cars these days come with wireless charging, so come on, see it. Get in the 21st century. One particular issue I've noticed with this car is the cabin noise. I mean, it's kind of unbelievable, really. If you potter around town, you can hear the engine quite a bit, but that's just because it's a small little one litre engine and it's working its load. If you're on the motorway, the wind and road noise is quite unbelievable as well. But, I mean, it is a small hatchback and small hatchbacks aren't usually the quietest things in the world. So, I mean, it's devil's advocate really, isn't it? So, the car comes with keyless entry and that's quite good news. It works perfectly fine, no cobbles with that. What I've got a problem with though is the size on this key and for what is essentially the same key that I have in my Skoda Octavia that doesn't have keyless entry and what that means is it's got this. What is that? What am I going to do with that? The amount of times I've got into this car, I'm sat here, I'm fiddling around, trying to work out where to pull the key and forget that it's actually keyless. Now, okay, it is down to habit a little bit but really that's pretty damn lazy and I can essentially think that they've made too many of those keys and thought, eh, yeah, we'll just use that for now. Now all those bad points really are just little niggles. And more alarmingly, there's that many good points about this car. I really did struggle doing a free good, free bad. I mean, I didn't get a chance to talk about the level of equipment, the safety features, or the economy of this vehicle. And to be honest, it really, really has impressed me for what is essentially a small hatchback that can really work as a family car. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below, ding on the bell, that'll say next time we post a video, and I'll see you guys next time on Free Good, Free Bad.